See, I entitled this before and after because we all have to start somewhere. Right now, I am currently in a process of becoming a college graduate for career change in my secondary venture is to keep doing these motivational videos hoping that my opinion will become your truth. I'm not out to hurt nobody, but I see people are always out there trying to hurt me in regards to me flushing my assignment. Why are you motivating others? Why are you going back to college? Why the career change? Why, why, why are you wasting your time? First of all, I'd rather die with an empty clip than dying with all my bullets. That's because you're comfortable and complacent with your mediocre life. I am to just ignore this burning fire that's cooking on the inside of me every day. No, I think not. So goodbye. Have a nice life. So this show that just getting underway nationally. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's going to do. It'll do well. And if it doesn't. And if it doesn't, I will still do well. I will do well because I'm not defined by a show. You know, I think we are defined by the way we treat ourselves and the way we treat other people. You know, I would be wonderful to be, you know, acclaimed as this, you know, talk show host who's made it. That would be wonderful. But if that doesn't happen, there are, you know, other important things in my life. After you beat the odds, after you convicted the naysayers, and I hate to say this, but some of your parasites will be within your own bloodline. Run. I remember hearing. Why don't you ever reach out to some of your old friends and why don't you reach out to some of your old relatives? Listen, I'm not really about being around people who are not really trying to do something with their life. And then when I do come around, they paint a narrative as if I think I'm better than them. I'm not even on that tip. I just refuse to just hang around that negative energy of where I once was. And if I'm honest, I ain't even like it there anyway. But I can't pick my family, but I could pick my friends. And it's hard to see in a fog. And I refuse to let someone prevent me from going after my after. People don't always like you. And they're not always happy for you. And if you surround yourself with people who are not accustomed to your success, they become fearful. They become scared because you are reflecting back something to them that they don't recognize. People who want the best for you want you to be your best. So my greatest advice to you is to surround yourself with people who are going to fill your cup until your cup runneth over.